So, you want to facial mocap your character? Not a problem. Real quick, I just wanted to take a moment to let everyone know that this facial mocap series was sponsored by the Support Squad and is a direct result of us reaching our thousand dollar goal. I'd like to shout out special thanks to two members in particular. The first one is David, who literally donated a graphics card to the channel. Really helped speed up my computer. Thank you so much, you're awesome, man. And for this series specifically, a huge thanks to Seth for donating an iPhone. This whole series was mocapped on Seth's iPhone X. But any phone with facial recognition should be fine. So please appreciate the brave souls that chipped in to keep this channel alive. As some of you know, I spent the last two months practicing facial motion capture on a fun little project where we made Super Smash Bros characters sing and dance to a BTS music video. On top of being a fun little test, this project was very important for me to quickly learn the ins and outs of facial software. If you've watched the video, you may have noticed that the facial animations on some characters like Cloud and Marth were not nearly as accurate as the facial animations for Link, Roy, or Pit. And that's because every time I finished rigging a character, I checked to see what didn't work and made improvements before rigging the next character. Link and Pit were some of the last characters I rigged, so their face has improvements that didn't exist when I was working on Marth and Cloud, which is why some characters' expressions came out more clearly than the rest. So I'll be sharing all the tips and tricks that I learned from making the BT Smash project in order to help make sure that your facial animations come out as clearly as possible. Alright, so we will be using the most popular facial mocap system known as AR Kit, which should work on any phone capable of facial recognition. There are two reasons I really Really like this system. The first is it's phone based, which means it's extremely accessible for most people. The second is it's extremely intuitive, fast, and most importantly, easy to use. What I like most about this system is it's really flexible, and the shape key based approach allows you to apply it to virtually any type of face you want. It doesn't have to be humanoid. And you can stack it on top of any type of facial rig you want. So you don't have to adopt a new face rig to make this work. You can just add this to the system on top of whatever you already have if you already have a rigged face ready to go. If you've ever manually animated five minutes of facial animation by hand, you probably know it's a truly soul-sucking and brutal experience. It can take days or even weeks, especially if you're doing things casually, and really just, just kind of a big pain in the ass. So if you hated that experience, and you just wish there was a way to spend a minute recording your face, and then like 30 more seconds to import them to your character, then this series is for you. All you need is to prepare your 3D model with shape keys ahead of time, which we will talk about in the next video. So, in the meanwhile, as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.